So basically, ladies and gentlemen, what I want to discuss with you is the idea of factoring. And why do we factor? Well, we actually will get into why we're factoring in a little bit later. Basically, right now, we, I just want to discuss with you what exactly is factoring. Um, and where does, why does it kind of like make sense? So basically, ladies and gentlemen, factoring, you're going to want to write this down, is writing an expression as a product. So basically, just writing an expression as a product. Now, the expression could be a number. Expression could be you know, um, 3x squared. Um, but also, we more commonly are going to be using factor when we're dealing with polynomials. Okay. Um, so let's go and talk about what we discussed kind of last class period when we were looking at multiplication and uh, the box method. So what I want you guys to understand, the main important thing to really understand factoring, you really need to understand area and how we identify area and you know, so forth. So in your early days, when we said, hey, you know how to find maybe, maybe like sixth grade, fifth grade, um, we talked about the area of rectangles, maybe even seventh grade. And we're talking about the area of the rectangle. You multiply your length times your width, or your base times your height, correct? So, and if you guys remember, you could even, sometimes you even did this. You know, you broke it up into thirds, and then you broke it up into fourths, right? Whatever, when you guys are first investigating how to find the areas. But what we pretty much figured out, which is the easy way for you guys, if I say, what is the area of this box, you're not going to create all these little boxes and count them up, right? You're going to say it is 12, just 3 times 4, right? And that answer comes pretty natural to all of you, correct? Yes, OK. So when factoring is basically doing is like the opposite of that. Basically, what I'm going to do is now I'm going to give you an area. And now what I want you guys to do is tell me what are going to be the side lengths, or what are some possible side lengths for these two boxes. So if I say the area is 6, then one possible length, Deja, could be? 2. And? 3. three. And then the other one, Thomas, could be 1 and 6. Does that kind of make sense with you guys? OK? So basically, what factoring is, and what we're doing is, if I'm giving you, see, here's the two areas. I can also write these areas. Instead of just of what the area is, I can represent them as the product. I can rewrite an expression. Here's my expression. I can rewrite this as the product of two numbers. Right? Or two other expressions. Does everybody see that? Yes, sir. OK. So now, why don't you guys take a look at, why don't I give you guys some time to try some problems. Now, rather than deal with numbers, I think numbers is where you know, it makes sense with a lot of people. Now let's go and try to do this with some expressions. And I'll give you guys three examples to try. And I like when you're writing this down to use your box, OK? Or use these boxes that I'm providing. Um, all right. OK. So what I'd like you guys to do now is to go through on those three boxes and see if you can determine see if you can determine what can be the possible side lengths of each of those boxes. So, and if you guys want to give me if you want me to give you a hint, what I'd recommend is try to figure out just what one length is first. OK? So try to figure out what one length is. So you look at the boxes, and it's kind of like a little game, kind of like what kind of like what Nicholas is playing right now. It's a little game. You're just looking at the figure and saying, oh, here's the area. What are the possible side lengths? Now remember, when you're choosing the side lengths, that side length has to be multiplied by, an other, by another side length. right? So whatever I choose here, 